thanks for watching someone. That is our friend Christy Mascaroni's story. <laughs> So Christy was kind enough and brave enough to share that slightly intimate story uh, firsthand with you. Someone's got to. We all have our own. So Christy had been single for, I think, like a, a, a bit of time. <laughs> I guess I had been single for quite some time. I had gone to the dermatologist. He had said, okay, we're taking this mole off. You know, it's in a, the middle part of your back, um, which is certainly hard to reach. And then the nurse came back in. She said, we do have to put an ointment on it um, and it needs to stay covered for the next, you know, week or two weeks. You know, I don't think you can reach it um, on your own. She's like, do you have somebody that could help you out with that? A uh, family member, spouse, significant other, someone to help put the medicine on your back? And I think I paused for probably Probably 10 seconds of just like, who in the world am I gonna ask? This is really sad. But of course I said yes. Um, yes, I am all good in that department. Yeah, I have somebody, sure. I'm actually single, okay? I'm a single woman living in an apartment by herself. Yeah, I'm an independent woman. I'm, go I'm going to figure it out. Um, you know, first I obviously tried the simple way, which is using your hands. So I was like, okay, so obviously I can't reach the spot with my finger. So I'm going to put it onto the Band-Aid, right? Smart. Like I'll put it onto the Band-Aid and I'll just like throw the Band-Aid <laughs> like onto my back, right? Like, and then that'll just stick. And then like I can like try and like pat it down or like stand up against the wall. Our favorite thing about the story was like her MacGyvering the damn thing. <laughs> Improvise. That's spatula, band-aid, I got this. I did think I tried like a spatula, like a I threw it on there and like Finally, after realizing that like clearly I don't or I cannot be my own someone, like I went into work. Sherry was actually standing there in the locker room with me and um, Sherry, um, so I went to the doctors and um, you know, I got this mole removed. I'm sure it's fine, whatever, but I kind of need to put like stuff on it. Will you be my someone? And so she just like looked at me. She started to like tear up and then she made me start to tear up. And I was like, do you think you could just... <laughs> yeah, sweet little Sherry ended up being my someone. Yeah, and the brilliance of it being uh, Valentine's Day just kind of like speaks to like my life so much too. You're just the best thing is about going to a drugstore at 10 p.m. on Valentine's Day. I had a boyfriend one time who got very, very sick on Valentine's Day, and so I like came over to his house. Um, and I stopped by like the Dwayne Reed along the way, and literally like all of the teddy bears. Creepy teddy bears are half off. And we thought, well, that's sort of fitting, and that kind of all ties together. Yeah, exactly. And that like clearly was something that would happen in my life. Well, the truth is, is we do have someone. There are plenty of someones in our life. <laughs> I can just help one one person out there, you know. Let them know they're not alone, or at least I am too. So. <laughs> The other fun fact about our friend Christy is that she uh, was an extra in Hot Mess. You'll see her in the background of a few episodes. And also, I used her office as my dressing room for the episode Skinny Jeans. It was. It was um, the size of a, a closet, really. I was very grateful for it to have my own space. Her only request was that we actually try and break the door. Yeah, I was actually kind of hoping we would break the door because um, I badly wanted a new door. Which I, I made a concerted effort to do. So the other fun thing we have is that the guy who played the doctor's name is John Bolger. I have that medication applied topically twice a day. And he's been on television a couple times. He was the baby talk guy in Sex in the City. Why not want a little visit from my Mr. Mister? Also, he's on General Hospital. We have nothing to say to each other. We found it very funny that we put him in scrubs for our show. But the funny thing is I got really small scrubs. I had borrowed them from a friend that I didn't check the label. And so he was in his pants were way too tight. He could barely walk in them. And he had to... You have a nice weekend. Thank okay? you. If you have any concerns, just give me a call. Kind of waddle out of the room. But John's a pro and totally covered. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, me too. But that was another hot mess moment from the shoot that day. If you like the show, please tweet, share, and tell your friends. Because that's how we're going to keep it going. And, you know, if you have a someone, send them this someone. Just saying. Will you be my someone? Bye!